All right, so I'm with my buddy Matthew here, and so he's guys. got just like probably one of the most rad Evo 9s I've ever seen. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I don't, I don't really know where to start. So I'm gonna kind of let you take the lead. Although I do want to dive in the engine bay first. Like right. we can do that. Yeah. Like just, I'm gonna let you take point because I'm not a huge 4G63 guy, but you obviously are. <laughs> so just go through everything because this is crazy. All right. So what we did is we just added some bracing, of course, to make it st stability-wise. So I did the Cusco front brace. Then if we go down. I did a fuel lab, fuel regulator, and needed to get more gas to this car because it's got a lot of horsepower. Uh, we ended up doing uh, Skunk 2 intake Manny and also their 68 millimeter throttle body, which ends up going into two and a half inch short route ETS piping with the Q50 tile blow off valve. Uh, with that said, we ended up doing speed density on this car. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, I don't see a map anywhere, so no map yeah, speed density. Straight speed density. So I did a three inch intake with an Force Performance Black ball bearing turbo. That's nice. And That's really nice. Custom manifold made from my good friend Alex at uh, Forbidden Street up in Ogden. Uh, we did externally waste gated, so it's the MVS tile. And then I ended up dumping the tube down instead of out of the hood like most Evo guys do. Yeah. Uh, we did three inch force performance uh, dump or O2 dump tube to their three inch exhaust. And then I have a titanium STM exhaust. So it's oh. super light, super loud. And you have the, like the raspy race car sound because yeah, of the titanium. Yeah, it's loud. That's so good. <laughs> And then, so from there, we decided to build the head. So I ended up doing GSCS2 cams, GSCS2 beehive valves, uh, you name it, everything's built in that car. We did R35 coils, so it's a coil on plug kit, not the factory um, electrical system, mm -hmm. just to keep up because it's pushing a lot of power. Of course, we added Tomei piston. Gotta look yeah, good. it's it's really clean, man. Eventually, I'd like to track this car, build a race car. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's it's set up like a race car because you said, you know, pump gas. So just ninety one up here in Utah, you're making five about five hundred horsepower. Will horsepower? Yeah, that's uh, the only horsepower we talking. Yeah, that's the only one that counts. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, if I do ethanol, it's it's close to six. Which is that that's crazy, man. Good like, power. Especially, so OEM bottom end, right? OEM bottom end, for now. For now, yeah. And that's just, it, like, coming from WRXs and STIs, uh, you know, 350 is pretty much what we get from OEM bottom ends. So, like, like 500, 600 yeah, OEM guys, bottom ends is nuts. They handle a lot. They can, they can do a lot of pressure. Excellent radiator with their slim fan. Got to keep it cool. Runs hot, you know, on the track. You got to keep it cool. Yeah, and, so, then, and then we ended up doing uh, Speed Factory's three and a half inch intercooler, and I was lucky to be the first one to ever get it. And then you were telling me about the lip too. So the front lip, you said you got straight out of Japan, right? Yeah, the lips from Japan, it's, it's hard to find. We can't just brush by the TE37s, like... OG TE37s, it's yeah. original from Japan off a of GT3 GTR race car. Which is just so crazy that you were able to end up with them because it's like, you know, what are the odds of someone else getting a, an actual race cars from like from Japan, like TE 37s. It's, it's really, really rad. And can we move on to the interior? Cause yeah. I, I like what you've done. Like it's, so it's simple. It's the stock Evo nine interior, which everybody wants. Uh, I just did a triple gauge pod. Just, you know, did the AM. True boost gauge with their AFR gauge. Yeah. Uh, eventually, I'd like to switch out the other gauge to AM as well. Mm -hmm. Got to please the wife for a minute, so <laughs> kind of cool <laughs> down, cool down, cool down the build a little bit. So and that's about it. Man, this is just so incredibly clean. OEM rain guards. I mean, this is a yep. this is a time capsule. It's, Everything's original. It's rad. Yeah, that was my goal: is to build a race car but make it look stock. So. Well, you've, you've accomplished that goal, my friend. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's, yeah. it's really good. Well, man, well, I, I really appreciate your time. Thanks, Thanks for letting man. me interview you. Yeah, no problem, dude.